Okay. Mid American. Mid American. Um, we've got less information than Sasquan, which is to be expected. We're a year later. Um, to answer some of the questions that you've asked, yes, we have hotel contracts in place. Um, we are planning on releasing the hotel booking forms sometime in early next year. Uh, the room rates at the main hotel, which is the Marriott downtown, um, are 124 single double. Uh, we are still negotiating exact rates and exactly which of the other hotels in the area we will be using. Um, the vast majority of the bedrooms will, however, still be in the Marriott. The convention itself will be taking place in the Kansas City Convention Center. The section of the convention center that we will be using is about two blocks from the entrance to the Marriott. We are not using the entire convention center. Uh, the convention center would hold more than one world con. Um, uh, I believe that it's probably ineligible. It's not more than 500 miles from Kansas City. <laughs> um, oh, sorry. We in um, we are still working on the location of things like parties and things like that. I know people have already started asking. Uh, we are working on those arrangements. We will announce them. But we are currently planning on announcing preliminary party information by Sasquan. Um, we will have the largest exhibit hall in the history of the world con. Um, Basically, the exhibit hall is close to 200,000 square feet. We have lots of interesting plans for how to fill it. Um, we think people are going to like it. Um, for those people with long memories, we are sort of going back to where we were in 1976. Um, the Marriott actually has two towers. One is a relatively new building connected by a habit trail to the second tower, which is called the Muehlbach Tower. Funny about that. It's <laughs> what used to be the Muehlbach Hotel site of the 1976 Worldcon. Um, we are not, there is still all the old function space that was in the Mule Bach, uh, where a bunch of the Kansas City in 1976 uh, Worldcon events took place. We are not using any of that function space because the building is a historical building, which means you can't touch it. And boy, is it not accessible. <laughs> It was built in the 20s. Boy, is it not accessible. Um, we are using a limited amount of function space in the Marriott, but essentially the convention will be, take, the convention will be taking place in the convention center. We will have further announcements on parties at Sasquan. Um, and that will, that information will be out in plenty of time for people to decide on what hotel they are planning on booking in.
Okay, I saw a question first from Gary and then from Linda. And then. Um, the question is, is the space that we are using based on current membership, current, I assume you mean current membership projections, or can it be moved up or down? Um, it can't be moved down because we've got a contract that promises that we're going to pay them a certain amount of money. Well, yeah, I suppose we could give them back the space. They just wouldn't charge us any less for it. <laughs> So down is not really an option. They're expecting a certain amount of revenue from space rental. Um, can we move it up? As of right now, there is an entire wing of floor, an entire wing, multiple floors that has rooms that we do not have, meeting rooms that we do not have under contract. And... Uh, yes, we could add it. No, we do not anticipate needing it. Uh, if we needed more exhibit space, well, A, as I said, we've got, oh, about twice as much exhibit. We have about, think of it as we've got four acres of exhibit space to fill. We're using half the exhibit hall. We're using halls C and D. There's still halls A, B, and C. No, I do not anticipate us ever needing halls A, B, and C. Um, but yes, theoretically we could get bigger. I do not anticipate us having to get much bigger. You'll notice that even though Sasquan is currently on target to be one of the two or three largest world cons in history, um, the number of attending memberships at Sasquan, because remember that there are 4,000 plus supporting members, none of whom will be occupying any space on site. How many supporting members can dance on the head of a pin? Um, <laughs> so we do not anticipate any substantial... We could fit it if it started to get bigger. We do not anticipate that we are going to need to alter our space. Linda? What is, what is your projected numbers for the Americans? Projected numbers. Projected numbers are an interesting challenge because, of course, there's... You can think of three sets of projected numbers. Um, there is a set of projected numbers that finance is using to build the budget. Um, there is the set of projected numbers that um, we are currently using in terms of trying to figure out how many hotel rooms we need to book. And there are projected numbers of how many people could we fit in. Our best guess is that the best guess number is that we will probably be roughly a Lone Star Con size, plus or minus, you know, a few hundred, maybe as much as be off by a thousand. Although, if we're a thousand smaller than Lone Star, uh, Joyce Hooper, who is our budget person, will not be happy. And that ha and happiness will spread, I'm sure. <laughs> Julie. Okay, uh, the question is how far away is the airport um, and what is the local transportation in the area? The airport is pretty far away. Uh, fortunately, we anticipate that people will only have to come from the airport exactly once and go back to the airport exactly once, and Super Shuttle does go to the airport. Um, Yes, you can take a cab ride, but it's probably going to be, I think, something like 45 or 50 bucks. So you probably want to take Super Shuttle or something like that. Um, once you get on site, 
Um, basically, the main hotel, all of the overflow hotels that we are currently looking at, and that should provide us enough rooms with the convention if it comes out about the size we anticipate, are all within three, a three-block walk. Uh, for people in scooters, uh, there are handicapped accessible paths to all of the locations. Um, there are even a couple of underground tunnels so that you don't have to cross streets, but those underground tunnels are really weird and take you through sort of parking garages and things like that. But they do exist. Um, and accessibility once you're in the hotels is generally pretty good. The Mulebach Tower is not great because, as I say, it's sort of a landmark property and there were limits to how many changes. But the new half of the Marriott is basically a decade old, so it's all new and has all of the appropriate access arrangements are fine. Uh, some of the other hotels are also somewhat older. The Phillips, which some of you may remember, was as the site of the Kansas City SMOFCON. Uh, as you know, that's a stunning Art Deco, gorgeous, but it was built during the Art Deco period. Not quite as accessible as would be perfect. Um, how but, are we doing on time? Um, we've got about five minutes left. Uh, when that is done, or will you be doing a two-week session for audiences? We, uh, well, as those of you uh, may know, ah, what are we doing to reach out to diverse audiences? As some of you may know, um, DEPCON had one of the, we believe, finest outreach programs. Uh, Tammy Coxon, who is chair of DEPCON, is a deputy division, on, uh, deputy division head on our staff. No, that is not what she is working on. Her job is deputy division head for WISFUS, but that gives you some idea of the kind of people we are looking at for outreach and who we have at the division level. Um, what is the experience level of everybody on the CONCOM? Um, it varies. Um, of the chair, we have a chairs, which is a tri-chair, one of whom has been a division head for former world cons, and the other two have been area heads on world cons. The chairs have a team of advisors, which consists of me and two former WorldCon chairs. Uh, of, at the division head level, about half have worked at division level before, and department heads, lots of varied experience levels. And did you have another question? Or was um, generally, it's not. Oh, sorry, allergy allergy season in August. It's generally not too bad. There may be some allergic things when you're coming in from coming in from the airport or going out to the airport. Um, because that's sort of semi-rural. The airport, as I said, is pretty far out. Downtown isn't a problem. Uh, caveat, if you're allergic to barbecue, kiss it goodbye. <laughs> There's a lot of barbecue in Kansas City. How much in the immediate area? Tons. Tons. <laughs> How do you measure it? <laughs> anyway. Uh, although I will admit that 
my favorite barbecue place is a 20 minute walk away. So I like Jack Stack. Uh, and it's a 20 minute walk away. Uh, it's longer coming home, A, because <laughs> it's at the bottom, A, because it's at the bottom of the hill and the hotel is higher up, so you're going uphill, and B, since you've gained substantial weight <laughs> um, with uh, dead meat products uh, cooked in interesting fashion, um, it may take you a little bit longer. Okay, I think that we're at time. Uh, we probably have time for one, one more. more question. Uh, cool. Well, go. Um, do you have an anti-harassment policy? Um, well, do do have have an anti -harassment policy? policy? Yes, there is one. I believe it is on our website. If not, it will be well before the convention. And although you didn't ask, Sasquatch does have one, and it is on our website. Um... um that was quick enough. Gary, go. Is there any um, plans The question is, is there going to be an outing to the Royals? Um, we don't even know if they're going to be home. So once the Royals have announced the schedule, uh, then we will begin to look at saying about putting together some sort of a group group deal. Um, and uh, for those not familiar, yes, the Royals are the local Kansas City almost baseball team. Real. Uh, I am a I am a National League bigot. I will admit to being a National League bigot. The game of baseball has nine men on a side, not ten. Okay. I, I think that's it now. Uh, technical note. If you want to change before we go to the 2017 bidders, that might be the time to do it. So let's take a, a two-minute timeout. I'm going to get a cup of water. Um, the best, you know, baseball is the only game I